Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we're back with a post review of Crystal Canvas or Crystal Art Kit. Sorry, Crystal Canvas Art, Crystal Art Kit, the names. Anyways, so as you guys know, I was working on this pre-framed swan diamond painting from Crystal Kit, Canvas Kit. Um, and I did finish it, so I wanted to show you guys what it looked like finished. And of course, it's really big and I'm out here in the living room, so you're going to see like bits and pieces of it but I think it turned out beautifully now I didn't have any problems for the most part completing this kit the symbols were all very clear um one of the major issues I had was that when they put this on the frame they didn't put it on straight so what ended up happening is at the top here if you can see at the top there there's a space here at the top of the canvas but if you go down to the bottom, let's see if I can show you. Down at the bottom here, it comes down like over that let the little bit of a ledge right there. So the diamonds are kind of hanging off on the sides. And of course, and there's space on this side, and there's a lot of space on this side, but there wasn't any space on this side, so they're literally hanging off the edge of the design, um, which made it a little awkward to get those drills to stay on. Now, of course, I could seal this diamond painting, but I'm not going to. I want to see how the diamonds hold up without the sealant on it. Um, I did do some special enhancements. I, of course, had some sparklers by Tmall that I had put onto the canvas, and I put them right here, as you can see, right here on the wing of the swan, some down here sprinkled in the water, and they're just the sparklers original. So those are the ones that look like rhinestones. So I put those, sprinkled down those down in the water there on the swan's wing and a little bit down here in the water as well. I also did the moon in full rhinestones because as you guys remember, when this lights up, that moon lights up as well. So uh, the major issues that I had with this kit were the fact that the design wasn't put on the frame uh it wasn't put on the frame straight so that the drills weren't hanging off the edge. Um, and the fact that it didn't come with DMC coats. Now, I didn't run out of any drills, which you can see here. All the drills have something left over. I did panic on a couple of the colors. Like uh, the, well, I panicked on the O, but then I realized I had a whole new uh, bag of the O's. But I panicked on a couple of the colors mainly because of the fact that uh, there's no DMC code, so if I were to run out, I wouldn't know what the DMC code would be to complete it. Um, a lot of them got really, really low, but like I say, if you have at least one drill left over, then you are good as gold. That's all that matters to me is that I have enough drills to complete the painting and maybe one or two left over. Other than that, it's fine. Everything else is just extra for storage. The drill quality was really good. I don't believe I had a lot of trash with this kit. Um... Let me see if I can get my trash tray here. So this is all the trash I had with this kit. So it wasn't a whole lot. Nothing to write home and call the mom about. Um, so I did rather enjoy working on this kit. It was a bit awkward. I'm not going to lie. It was a bit awkward working on this kit because it's not like a regular kit where you can roll it up and work on it. I would have to spin it around and, you know, get it to a point where I could work on it. And in the center and stuff, it was a little awkward to work on. Plus, I work on a smaller workspace. So it was a little awkward to work on. But for the most part, I think it turned out beautifully. Now, when it comes to the light up part. Now, this, of course, does light up. It is an LED kit. Um, I would have suggested putting the lights in a different color because, or not a different color, I'm sorry, in a different spot because like right now they have this here lit up, the wings here up, oh, hold on, there's a drill that's magically just chilling right there apparently. I think it came out of the trash tray. Um, there, the wings of the swan are lit up, the waterfall and the moon. Now. I can understand the wings, sort of say, but not really. Mostly because if the light is coming down from the moon, okay? If the light's coming down from the moon, I would have liked to have seen the water lit up a little bit. Like, maybe, like, kind of around the swans and not on the wings. Like, I can understand the wings being lit up if the, the, the swan has its wings out like this. But this light up part right here doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I don't understand because if the light is coming from up here on the moon 
Okay, so if it's coming from up here and it goes down, it would miss this part of the swan because the wing right here would be in the way. So I'm not understanding this part of the light up part of this kit. I would have suggested putting the lights down in the water. The waterfall looks great. This light coming over the horizon looks great. I love the fact that the moon lights up. But that was the only thing, you know, with the light up part of it that I had, you know, reservations about. Because it looks like the butt of the swan is lit up here and then the wings. And I'm like, that kind of doesn't make sense since, you know. And of course, it has a shadowing. But if there, the shadowing, if, if there's no light up here on the swan's head, then how is it making the shadow down here? And same with this one. Like, it's coming down, and this one is okay for the shadowing, but this one isn't. And then does, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's just all over the place here. So so that was one of the, the big things that I was concerned about was when I put the diamonds on it, how was it going to look with the diamonds on it? It does look perfectly fine. And of course I will have a picture come up so that you guys can see the full thing instead of me going back and forth. Um, the picture did turn out great. I love how it turned out. I loved working on this kit. Um, I would suggest this company. So if you are on the fence about whether or not they have good drill quality, they do on the fence about, you know, the light up part of it or how it is to work on. It is a little bit awkward because it's pre-framed, so you're, you, if you're used to rolling up kits like I am, it is a little bit awkward to work on, but for the most part, I didn't have a, a whole lot of issues with this kit, so I would recommend this company. So I will, have co I will, of course, have them linked down in the description box below, so there is that. And like I said, even when I go to store these, as, since there's some left over, there's really, I, how am I supposed to store them? So what will end up happening is, how do you store drills that don't have DMC codes? There is a DMC code book that you can get. The DMC code book, you can match the colors of the drills that are in this kit to that DMC code. And then, of course, you would take and put those with the corresponding drills. But usually, I don't save drills if they don't have DMC code, but these will be the exception because these were really, really good drills. I had barely any trash with this kit, so I do want to save these. So I'm going to go have to go into the DMC color book and see if I can match these to the proper colors and store them away. I just kind of have them stored away in no specific order in little Ziploc bags, and I just kind of toss them all in a box. So all my rounds are in a box. All my squares are in a box. There's no, like organization there so i am going to have you know quite the project on myself here with having this but if i had one major one major you know thing to tell the company is please 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 if you're not going to use dmc code at least have an inventory sheet i know a lot of companies that use baggies weigh their drills but having that inventory sheet to tell you at least what color goes with what symbol will help because one of the other problems I had with this kit was I would get to a point and I would think to myself, oh my God, am I putting the wrong color down on the wrong symbol? But I had nothing to check it against. There's no, there's no inventory list. There's, there's nothing written on this canvas that's going to tell me what the symbol and color correspondences are. So if I had to suggest anything, it would be please use DMC codes or please use DMC codes on an inventory, at least do an inventory list of the DMC codes and the symbols so people aren't getting confused. Because there are a lot of people that will get, you know, sidetracked when they're working on something. They'll come back to it and go, oh, my God, which happened to me almost every time I worked on it. I would work on it and I'd go, oh, my God, what color did, was it, did I stop on? And I'd have a blue in my thing, in my tray. But as you can see right here. There's like four or five different shades of blue. So I, I, you know, I'm like, okay, am I putting the right blue down? Am I, you know, not putting the right blue down? There's no way for me to check that. So if I had a suggestion, please use a DMC code. Please get an inventory sheet for the canvases that do not have an inventory sheet. Because on the, the, one, the other one I got, those uh, tulips, if you looked on the back of that kit, it had an inventory sheet. And on the back of this one... It just has the wall mount hanger and then it has the instructions for the LED and then the pocket where you put the, the uh, batteries. But there's no true DMC code. There's no true DMC inventory sheet. So that would be another one of my big concerns. But other than that, if you know that stuff doesn't bother you, this is a project that probably shouldn't have taken me as long as it did. But of course, as you know, I have family in town and all that other fun stuff. So life happens. It is what it is. 
But with that said, they still get two big old thumbs up from his coffee. It was a joy working on this. I'm going to make sure to put up a picture of it hanging up and what it looks like lit up. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns about this company, please put them down in the comment section below. And I will make sure to try to answer them as best that I can. But now I must bid you adieu. But not before reminding you that if you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. But with that said, I must now really bid you adieu. But not before reminding you to always try to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.